Okay guys, who's ready for a, another Silk Naturals lip swatching? I was meant to have one in February, but there was a little bit of, like a little bit of a delay. There were some winter storms and mail has been slow and um, we've been sort of figuring out what I was gonna swatch next. Um, but Silk Naturals sent me quite a bit of lippies to get me through the next couple of months. So I've got all the velvet mats here, which is probably gonna be split up into at least three videos. There's a lot of them. Um, I've got another video that I'm gonna film right after this that is the smooth and full. And today we're just gonna do a little bit of a short one to sort of get us back into a groove. I'm gonna do the Valentine's collection that they launched that had three new lipsticks. So. There is the Brilliant Amplifying Lip Glaze. Um, so it has been like a month <laughs> since Valentine's Day. There's the Racy Amplifying Lip Glaze 2.0 and then the last one is the Captivate Slick Stick 2.0. Um, some of their formulas have been going through some revisions just because of the way things are, um, some items, some like ingredients are limited. They've had to reformulate or they are working on reformulating. I don't think they're completely done, but the glossier formulas I think are being reformulated. So I think these are, woo, I think these are formulated, for, <laughs> I think these are formulas that have been reformulated. So we're just gonna do these three. We're gonna do a quick little one and then you'll see some longer videos. Um, the next few will be, much longer because they're gonna have a lot more um, lip swatches. So I'll talk through these ones, but future videos, you may not see me talking through them just because there are so many and I wanna make sure that we get get through them. So just as a reminder, if you haven't seen any of my previous Silk Naturals videos, this series is being sponsored by Silk Naturals. I am working with them um, for at least the next year to swatch everything. I don't know how long it's exactly going to take to swatch all of their lip products, but this project is going on as long as it takes to swatch all of their lip products. So check out the previous Silk Naturals swatch videos that I have done. I will leave them linked down below in case you've missed them. Silk Naturals is a great indie company that sells affordable lipsticks. I'm pretty sure their most expensive formula is like $5.95 if I'm not mistaken. Um, so very affordable lipstick options. They have organic options. They've got full vegan options. They've got mattes and glosses and all kinds of lipstick formulas. Like they have lipsticks for days, guys. <laughs> so if you are looking for affordable makeup, definitely check out Silk Naturals. So um, like I said, again, this series is being sponsored by them. Um, each video. I'm aiming to put out at least one a month, but I might do two this month just to sort of catch up since I didn't do one in February. So this again is the uh, 2021 Valentine's Day collection where she released three new lipstick shades. Um, let's do the first one. This is Brilliant, which is the Amplified Lip Glaze um, 2.0. Um, once I put it on, I will pull up the shade description, but it looks like a, ooh, it's very, um, kind of got like a little bit of a tingling. This might be one of the ones that has like a tingle. Ooh, I really like this. I like shades like this where it's sort of like a neutral with a little bit of like a sparkle. Let me pull up the actual shade description for you. So this is brilliant in their Amplifying Lip Glaze 2.0. Um, it's 450 for this one and it's a shimmery tan which is basically like my favorite sort of like lip color option. I love, um, you know, things that are like a sheer with a little bit of a sparkle, Beach Glow from Fit Glow. Um, I really love, I love this kind of thing. Like this is my favorite kind of lip product. So they are reformulating their slick sticks and their uh, amplifying lip, lip glazes to include some extra moisturizing um, from a acai sterols. They're every bit as luscious and glossy, just with a little bit of extra moisture. So there are some organic ingredients in here. This is a vegan formula um, and yeah, that's what this one looks like. There really is not much else to it. I love this. I love this kind of color. This is like the kind of thing that I gravitate to the most. It does have some menthol, which is the sort of like tingling minty feeling that I'm feeling. But this formula specifically has acai sterols, um, castor oil and jojoba avocado, candelia wax, cran cranberry oil, raspberry, passion fruit. So lots of really good ingredients in it. So if you don't mind, you know, a little bit of like a tingly kind of thing and you're looking for maybe a dupe for, 
you know, the more expensive Fit Glow um, Beach Glow, which is one of my favorites. Maybe I should do like a whole nude with a sparkle, like comparing all of them video. I might do that. I think I might do that because that's like my favorite color. That's what I wear all the time. So this is an option if you're looking for that kind of color, but you don't want to pay, um, you don't want to pay for a lot. I mean, this is $4.50 where the Fit Glow one is like $42. So you guys know how I feel about Fit Glow, but this is a great affordable option um, for that if you're looking for it. It is extremely moisturizing. I really love it. So this one is brilliant. Okay, next we're gonna do Captivate, which is in the Slick Stick 2.0 formula. Um, so this one is a Smoky Plum Cream. It's also 450. It is a vegan formula. And it's a neutral plum with just a hint of black. The smoky tones elevates it from a regular lo your lips but better color to something more sultry and interesting. Ooh, so there's the swatch on that. Also looks to be very, very pretty. Pretty excited about this one. All right, so there's Captivate, the Slick Stick 2.0. It's more of a cream formula than um, like a shimmery, like the last one was, but it's just as moisturizing, feels really good. And it's sort of like a nice neutral plum color that's not too, you know, sort of like dark, but it is very pretty. I really like that. One more time, that one is Captivate, since I already went over all the other information. I don't have much else to say about that. Very pretty, if you're into that kind of color. Color family. Okay, and then the last one that we have from this collection is Racy, which is another of the Amplified Lip Glaze formulas. So there is that one, gorgeous. It's a sheer deep red. It's a semi-sheer, deep, cool-toned red, very similar to our Velvet Matte in Ruby, which I haven't swatched yet, um, but sheer, glossy, and with a hint of a natural, subtle plumper. So this one, again, has the menthol. Um, it's a vegan formula, but it does contain FD&C color dyes, if that is um, a problem, but I don't have a problem with that. So I am very uh, excited about this one. Especially because sometimes you want a red, but you want like a sheer red. You know, you don't want a full on uh, red lipstick. You just want like a subtle, like a subtle red. The reds, no matter if they're sheer or not, are always kind of a slight pain in the butt <laughs> to put on, but very pretty. Mm, I like that one. So if you're into like a, you want a sheer red, but you don't want like a matte, or a full-on red, or like a bright pinup red. That's really pretty. So that's racy. My lips are a little bit dry, unfortunately. So they're peeling a bit. I think I've gotten, I think I've gotten all the dead skin off. <laughs> but that's really pretty. So again, here are the three swatches. We've got racy, captivate, and brilliant. Uh, Brilliant is definitely gonna get the most wear around here, but I really love Racy. I think Racy and Brilliant are my two favorites from this collection specifically, but if you're into like that sort of smoky purple plum kind of thing, that's really gorgeous, would go really nicely with like a smoky eye. And again, you can't really beat the price of these lipsticks. They're 450, they're really great, great quality, they're very moisturizing. Um, a lot more moisturizing than some more expensive formulas that I've tried of like other lip oil, lip products. Um, these are just really amazingly formulated. I don't know how she's able to sell these for $4. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're looking for, you know, affordable lip options, especially because not a lot of people are wearing lip products right now, but maybe when you're at home or you're just hanging out with family and friends or whatever you're doing right now, I don't know your life, I don't know what you're doing. Um, I hardly ever go out, so I do still wear quite a bit of lip products because I'm at home, I'm filming videos, or I'm just, you know, just I just wanna put something on. Cause I'm, again, I hardly ever go out, so I don't really have to worry about the whole mask situation. Though when I do go out, I usually put on like a clear gloss. Um, but you could just build up your collection for when masks go away, if they ever will. <laughs> 
Um, anyway, but yeah, I love these. I think they're great. They're really affordable. The color options are amazing. Most of the formulas are vegan. Um, some of the formulas do contain beeswax. I'm pretty sure none of them contain carmine, um, but I'm pretty sure that there are some that do contain beeswax, but these ones are vegan. So that's all that I've got for this video. I am going to go film another one of these to have up for later this month. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought. Um, and if you're excited about the velvet matte lipsticks, cause I have quite a lot of them to swatch for you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for being here and I will see you in my next one. Bye.